Bali beaches are unquestionably fascinating. Just pick one that suits your vacation moods and itinerary. Then if you long for such pristine, tranquil and peaceful kind of beach, Geger Beach is the rightest place for you. This beach, situated on the area of a famous luxury hotel in Nusa Dua, which divided into the right and the left side. The right side is a private beach of the hotel, while the left side is managed by locals. If you don't stay in at the hotel, you can just enjoy the left side of the beach with a pretty reasonable price. Parking lots for cars and motorcycles is also available to accommodate people who are visiting this place. With such long and floppy shoreline, the sea is pristine and calm, with such gradation from sea green to deep blue that is pretty prominent. The pounding waves seem like inviting you to take a plunge, swim and snorkel into it. But if you like to go further, it's really nice to surf and conquer the waves. But if you're in a pro, playing around the shoreline is just enough. Just don't swim past the border buoy that warns you to not go further the safe area to swim. The beach sand feels smooth and powdery by the time you walk barefoot. There's no sharp corals or reef as far as you can see that might hurt you. If you'd like to watch the beachscape while chilling around, there are plenty of cafes which provide meals and drinks. There's also a place which can be rented to laze around after a day swimming at the sea. Just like other common beaches in Bali, right on the top of the beach cliff, you can spot on a pura called Pura Geger Dalam Pemuti. If you'd like to visit this pura, you must wear a sarong to cover your exposed body, while women on their period aren't allowed to enter. Unfortunately, this beach ain't facing the west nor the east, but to the southeast instead. So you'll not be seeing sunrise nor sunset. But I think you don't need to see the sunrise nor the sunset when you already have a beach that is pristine, pretty, and so unspoiled, do you? Mm -hmm.